Hi, I'm Tom Jones and welcome to another free art lesson. I'm going to take some time today to uh, show you how when you're painting to add three colors to the different objects in your painting. Let me simply preface it by saying I've seen a lot of paintings uh, where I've jurored shows and they'll take something as an example, uh, maybe a baseball cap and it's all painted with one color, or maybe the blue jeans, the jeans are all one color, or maybe the shirt. Uh, same thing with buildings, with trees, with fence posts. My suggestion to you is to add three colors, or use three colors in each of these objects. Let me show you what I mean. And the reason for it is to add more interest. So you'll see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and paint a fence post as an example. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to take a little bit of, in this case, maybe my sienna, burnt sienna. And I'll come in and I'll put some color on the fence post. Then what I'll do is I'll come back, clean out my brush, maybe go pick up a little, let's say in this case, hooker green. It doesn't have to be the exact colors that I'm using, but I'm simply saying to you, have a variety of color going on on that fence post rather than just a single, single color. Now, as the fence posts get farther away in the distance, then it might be a little different. As they fade away in the background, one color will work. But certainly for fence posts in the foreground, maybe a little bit more variety of color will help. Let's take a little bit of my uh, uh, green. As I get closer to the edge of where the grass would be down here, I might change it and have uh, a little green down here near the grass area. But as an example, you'll see I started out with burnt sienna went to a hooker green, deep, then I went to a light green. And you can have the colors blend into each other, that's not a problem, but have three colors in there. Let's take a look at the tree trunk as an example. We'll do the same thing over here. Let's take a, a little bit of the uh, tree trunk and we'll use a little bit of maybe some hooker green in the area of the tree trunk. So I'll come in and add a little color there, come back, clean out my brush, maybe again in this case I'll pick up a little uh, burnt sienna as an example and change color. Now what I'll do at this point is I may come and get just a little bit of let's say yellow ochre and we'll put a little yellow ochre. So I've got a color change going on in that area of the tree. Now let me go ahead and finish out just this one area and you can see now how a variety of color is much more interesting than just having one one color in that particular tree trunk. Let me come down and add just a little bit more maybe of some hooker green down in this area. Okay, same thing on the tree branches. Try to have a variety of color going on in the tree branches. So we'll start out with a little bit of uh, hooker green there, and then we'll come in and we'll add just a little burnt sienna and change color again. Maybe at this point we'll go back and pick up a, a lighter color of green and have a little bit of that color. But notice how we have a variety of color going on. Now when I say variety color, I'm not talking about taking three colors and mixing them so that you have only one color. I'm talking about keeping the three colors separate as I've done here so that you can see how it would look. Same thing here on the fence post. Same thing in the grass area, if we were to do the grass area. Let's take a look at maybe starting out with a lighter color on the grass area and then again switching color and going to maybe in this case from a light green to a hooker green and then back over maybe to a yellow ochre. But have a, at least three colors going on in each object and that will help make your interesting, your uh, subject matter more interesting. Remember, it's an entertainment factor when you start adding color like this. Let's take a look at this man's vest. We've got a fellow over here, a fisherman, and we'll just take a look at the vest. So we'll come in and maybe use on this particular vest maybe a little yellow ochre to start with. Then we'll switch over to maybe a little bit of a lighter green. We'll do that in this area to make it interesting. Maybe at this point we'll go back to a darker green. In this case I'm using a, a hooker green. But again I'm looking for this variety of color in the clothing as well as in a tree trunk, fence post, or grass to make it more interesting. Give that a try in your next painting. I think you'll have a little bit more exciting painting than just having everything one color and have fun with it. I hope this has been a beneficial lesson plan for you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Tom Jones. And check out my other free art lessons on tomjonesartist.com. Don't forget Jerry's Artorama has over 600 
free art lessons, check out jerrysartorama.com for more free art lessons. Thank you again for joining me.